go. Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to our class. For this week's lecture, we have a guest lecturer who is a talented BSU alumni and uh, he, will, he will be sharing about a very important topic nowadays. So let me introduce our speaker, Mr. Kendrick Anthony F. Canuto, a licensed professional teacher who fondly calls himself the psychotherapy addict. He was a suicide survivor and was diagnosed with severe major depressive disorder in 2014 and with bipolar disorder in 2016. These dreadful experiences led him to become an active advocate for mental health. Despite his arduous battles with his illness, he was able to manage his studies well and was able to graduate at the Benguet State University with a special award in academic excellence equivalent to cum laude. He was also awarded as the best practice teacher in his field of specialization, physical education, health, music, and arts, and best performer of the BSU Center for Culture and the Arts, Glee Club Tenor. As for his mental health advocacy, he launched the In the Name of Love Quarantine on his personal Facebook account, which includes his Historia series, series titled Iyaman Sunan Apushos, a series of songs meant to spread positive vibes in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic and a, a series of stories about his mental health journey meant to spread awareness and to shed light to others, especially to those who might be on the same boat. Currently, he is assigned at Binang National High School as a junior and senior high school teacher. He is also pursuing his master's degree in teaching music at the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University. In relation to his advocacy, he serves as the region head of the Youth for Mental Health Coalition in, in the Cordillera Administrative Region. So without further ado, let us welcome Mr. Kendrick. Hi, Ma'am Kareel. Thank you Hello. so much for that generous yes. introduction. I'm so glad to be with you today. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, I hope that uh, you will be seeing this. Um, you're in a good mood. And so I know uh, in this trying time, it's really difficult no, to focus, um, to get back to our feet, especially that is already the second year that we are in this pandemic. So I hope that um, kung saan man kayo naroroon ngayon, our dear students, hopefully na uh, you are in, you are okay. Ayan. Uh, holistically. So, um, I'm glad to be with you guys. Um, this is actually the second invite from um, Karil and I couldn't um, decline uh, because syempre, it's part of my advocacy and I know as well that um, she is also an active advocate for mental health. So uh, let me just share to you my slides. For a moment. There, I hope you can see my screen. All right, there. All right, so this is actually a surprise. Um, so, well, I just we we just came up with this um, topic for today. I mean, the title because um, actually this is part of your subject in SS twenty one. So I titled it "Cut in Yangai." Uh, Cut in Yangai means uh, in our dialect, uh, it's sort of like "Kumustaka." And so this is what I want to know actually from you guys. Kung kumusta ba kayo? No? So uh, I hope, sabi ko nga kanina, um, very important na alagaan natin yung sarili natin. And the fact that we are in these trying times, um, yung ating emotions, it is at peak talaga. So uh, having said this, how do we manage our emotions bagamin? Or... Uh, in simple terms, paano mo ba nakikita or paano mo naalagaan yung emotion mo sa panahon ngayon? Ayan. In other terms. So, uh, I want to present to you the seven C's. Uh, the seven C's of ER. Uh, 
malalaman niya kung ano yung ER ba maya. It's not emergency room, ha? Ayan. So, actually, uh, I divided my talk, um, my sharing, my istorya. Ayan, I, I usually do this, no? Um, it's part of my therapy to, to like, share my experiences to, to others. Uh, yun yung nasabi kanina ni Ma'am Karil, to shed light to others who might be going on the same boat or on the same boat or, you know, um, may mga pinagdadaanan. So, these are my lessons uh, from my own experiences. So, lessons from Kapadasan. So, my talk is divided into three, the seven C's of ER. Um, some tips, uh, most especially uh, on self-care. And then, of course, some of my reflections from this Kapadasan or experiences. Now, uh, we proceed. So, the seven C's of emotional resilience. Yun yung meaning ng ER, emotional resilience. Um, my source is from the American Academ Academy of Pediatrics. So, first one is, uh, by the way, before I go to uh, the C's, um, ano nga ba yung uh, resiliency? Actually, um, we're blessed here in the Philippines kasi ito yung isa sa mga traits ng mga Filipino na hinahangaan sa ibang bansa or in other places because why um, marunong tayong tumingin sa brighter side palagi. Ang mga, ang mga Pilipino hindi nawawala ng pag-asa. So alam mo yun, yung when we say resilient kasi is our ability to bounce back from a negativity or a negative situation and then uh, to a positive one. Uh, later on, we'll be talking about the toxic positivity kasi kung minsan may, may effect yun eh. Like, um, hindi naman pwede maging positive na lang palagi. So this is where our topic comes in. How do we manage our emotions? Kailangan ba lagi positive lang? Or kailangan ba lagi um, down? Diba? There should always be a balance uh, between the two. You know? So, first, uh, C is competence. So when we speak of competence, this is knowing how we can handle um, the difficult situations in our lives. So there are five uh, core competencies when we speak about competence in the uh, emotional resilience. So one here is, uh, under this is self-awareness. So the, uh, in, if we speak about self-awareness, uh, how do we uh, recognize our emotions and thoughts? Um, Na-recognize ba natin yun? Or uh, yung influence niya sa ating behavior? So it's very important that we know how these emotions affects us. So kung galit ka, um, paano mo minamanage yung sarili mo? Pag malungkot ka, pag masaya ka, yan. And uh, others. And then of course, uh, under under competence is of course of course self management so when we speak of self management this is our ability to regulate our emotions our thoughts our behaviors effectively in different situations so later on i'll be sharing also on uh, the cognitive behavior therapy uh, because uh, there are things that is out of our control and sometimes that's stressing us out and it affects our emotions and very important nga na alam natin na i-manage tong mga to. So uh, next one is social awareness. Uh, when we speak about social awareness, this is our ability to take the perspective and empathize with uh, others. So nakikiramdam ba tayo? Um, pag galit ba tayo? Galit na lang tayo forever. Hindi natin uh, kino, kino, pag galit ba tayo, kinoconsider ba natin yung mga tao sa paligid natin? Or wala lang. Galit ka. And galit ka. Period. Uh, mainis ka sa lahat. Mainis ka sa lahat. Period. Diba? So, um, how are we aware of our emotions? Ayan. Uh, when we speak, uh, and then number four is relation, uh, relationship skills. So this is our ability to maintain a uh, positive relationship with others. Very important yun, especially now. Um, kailangan natin ng support system. So dapat healthy yung ating relationship with, uh, with others. And of course, most importantly, sa ating mga sarili. And then uh, lastly, under competence is of course 
uh, responsible decision making. Um, lagi nilang sinasabi na uh, when we are at the peak of our emotions, we should not make any decisions. Uh, kung sobra kang masaya, kung sobra kang malungkot, kung sobra kang galit, make sure to not uh, make decisions. Kasi uh, most of the times, uh, kung nasa peak tayo ng emotions, very emotional tayo, uh, hindi natin napapansin na may mga nasasambit tayo na hindi pa pala appropriate. And of course, once na nasambit na natin yun, we can never take back those words na nasabi natin. And this might cause us, our family, our friends, na hindi na natin maibabalik yung magandang relationship natin with them. Ayan. So that's under competence, uh, the, five core, uh, the five core competencies. All right, now we go to the next one. Under the seven C's of um, emotional uh, resilience, uh, we have here confidence. So very important ito, especially now, no? Um, given yun na uh, um, yung mga nangyayari minsan or yung mga experiences natin, nawalan tayo ng confidence. Say, for the online learning, may mga hindi nakakapa nung sistema ng online learning. And then with that, parang nababawasan yung confidence nila. But um, to tell you honestly, it's very important that this time um, you believe in your abilities, no? you trust in yourself na kakayanin mo. Ayan. Uh, very important yun. And then of course, uh, next one, um, the third one is connection. Uh, in emotional resilience, very important yung um, pag-maintain natin sa connection natin with our loved ones. May it be your family, your friends, your partner, etc. So, uh, Importante yun because this will help us maintain kung ano yung um, stability natin, uh, mental stability natin. It, it will place us there. Hindi, hindi tayo mawawala. Like, um, if we need somebody to talk to, at least meron tong mga to na makakausap natin. Lalo na ngayon na, yun nga, as, uh, na-mention ko kanina, heightened ang ating mga emotions. As much as possible, sana may absorber tayo na ready na makinig sa atin. Ayan. Of course, uh, we also have here, number four, is our character. Very important sa emotional resiliency yung character natin. Ano ba yung values natin? Um, ano yung mga pinapaniwalaan natin? Because actually, our values um, defines us. Eh. Um, it speaks so much of who we are, kung ano yung character natin. So, syempre, um, napapakita yan sa mga emotions na linalabas natin sa mga uh, nararamdaman natin towards ourselves and towards other people, towards the situation around us. Ayan. Uh, in emotional resilience, number uh, five is our coping. So, uh, we are able to handle stress. Are we able to handle stress in a healthy way. Ayan. So, very important yung sa ating um, emotional resilience yung coping. Dito, actually, magaling. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Magaling ang mga Pilipino when it comes to coping. Because, um, ano man yung unos na dumaan sa, sa buhay natin, kayang-kaya natin i-handle yun. No? Um, nagagawa natin ng paraan. Alam mo yung Kumbaga, tinatawa na natin, tinatawa na lang natin, pero deep inside may mga nararamdaman pala tayong mahirap, sakit. Ayan. Uh, I don't know if na-miss ko siya. Uh, may na-miss akong isang slide. Um, actually, that's uh, contribution. So, under contribution, actually, um, this is number five, yung contribution before coping. Sorry ha. Um, na miss siya dito sa slide. Uh, but let me just emphasize, um, importante din sa emotional resilience yung contribution. Um, contribution speaks of um, how we use our strengths to help others. So, uh, paano ka nagiging, uh, ano yung contribute mo sa sarili mo and to others? Say, um, sa'yo, siguro yung self-care. Ayan. And then to others, um, coping um i mean uh the the contribution is 
being an advocate, for example, ano ba yung, uh, it will always connect din sa kung ano yung values mo. So, for example, sa akin, um, my advocacy on mental health. So, that's my contribution. And um, as an advocate, this this is what I want to share to you uh, na from my experience sa sana may, may makuha kayo. Ayan. Um, kasi, syempre, alam naman natin na uh, wala namang experience na magkakapareho. So, just pick um, what you can pick from from my sharing and then apply what you can apply um, based sa kung ano yung ginagawa nyo ngayon. Alright? So, are we good? I hope uh, you're still with me. Um, anyway, short lang naman tong aking presentation. So, uh, we also have here, um, I think this is the last one, uh, number seven, control. So, knowing that you have the ability to make choices. Very important yun, no? Um, nasa, sa emotion natin, um, tayo yung pumipili nun. So, kung gusto natin magalit, gusto na lang ba natin magalit forever? Ayan, di ba? Ang hindi rin maganda sa, sa pakiramdam na galit ka or kung may hindi, kung bad mood ka, bad mood ka na lang ba forever? Gusto mong ganun lang ba may maramdaman mo ng magbuong, uh, ng buong araw? Di ba? It's not, it's not healthy. So, um, having said all of this, um, medyo mabilis ka lang kasi ito, no? Uh, now, I'll be sharing to you the tips on managing one's emotions. So ano ba yung um, paano ba natin i-manage yung emotions natin na okay yes um sir Ken na mention mo yung yung emotional resilience so sige uh, let's dig deeper no uh, these are the tips so from uh, from my notes actually these are my notes and of course from my personal experience so um actually it lightens up our mood or our emotions pag um we are uh we we are grateful yung tinitingnan natin yung um, dapat ipagpasalamat natin kesa yung dapat na natin sort of like that no uh, more gratitude less attitude so we we look at the brighter perspective ng mga bagay-bagay um, hindi lang yung tipong um, kung nasa bad situation ka iisipin mo na sa bad situation ka lang like think of something na ano ba yung magandang nangyari out of that negative situation that you're in. Ayan. So, um, the more din na tinitingnan natin kung ano yung, yung blessing sa atin, um, the more na na-uplift yung ating mood. Ayan. So, again, let's be uh, more grateful. Ayan, no? Uh, and then, next, um, it's very important also to um, recognize your negative feelings. When we speak of our emotions, kasi kung minsan, um, most of the time, if not, uh, if not, um, if, anyway, um, it's very important that we recognize our emotions, that, um, I always say this to others, no, that our emotions are valid. So, kung ano man yung, yung nararamdaman mo ngayong oras na to, um, know that hindi mo yun mararamdaman forever, that it will pass. Emotions pass, hindi ka, um, alam mo yung tipong um, lilipas din yung emotion, hindi ka magiging sad forever, hindi ka magiging galit forever. Ayan, so, uh, walang forever sa emotions. No? Pabago-bago yan, it changes um, through time. Uh, so, very important na pag naramdaman mo yung emotion, sige, ramdamin mo lang. But, um, mind you, uh, dapat aware din tayo na ay baka mamaya pala sa kaka-recognize mo ng emotions mo nakakalimutan mong i-recognize din yung emotions ng ibang tao si kung galit ka, kung stressed ka ganyan, binubuntong mo sa ibang tao diba? it's not it's not good actually, so dapat balance pa rin yung pag-recognize natin ng ating mga negative emotions uh, it's okay to, to feel uh, bad but uh, make sure na gawa natin ng paraan na in a way um, makaalis tayo doon sa emotion na yun. Because it will affect us um, all throughout kung i natin na yung emotions yung kakain sa atin. No? Dapat babalance pa din yung ating intellect in a way. Yan, the heart and mind, di ba? Hindi pwedeng yung, yung mind lang, hindi pwedeng yung heart lang. Dapat nagbabalance yung dalawa. Alright? Uh, next step 
is ito, um, pag-emotional tayo or if we're feeling down or bad, uh, it's very important that we allot a me time for us. Allot a me time for you. No? Um, uh, pwede kang siguro, uh, kung hindi ka okay, pwede ka namang magkulong muna. Uh, sa kwarto mo, ganyan. Um, do something na uh, yung yung me time kasi ito yung hindi ka madidisturbo eh. it's time for you to to reflect like ikaw lang mag-isa ka lang um naka shutdown lahat um pati tao um kung pwedeng ignore mo muna sila for a while para um i-process mo yung emotions mo kasi very important din na ma-process natin kung ano yung 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 nararamdaman natin at the moment no excuse me and so Uh, wag na wag natin kakalimutan yon. Next is, ito, while doing your me time, um, we can journal our thoughts, our emotions. For example, um, galit ka, uh, you're frustrated, it's better na, um, actually this is just a recommendation, no? Um, you journal your thoughts, isulat mo. Um, hindi naman kailangan fancy na notebook or what so pero yung yung masulat mo lang ba and then um, at least from that kasi napapakalma ka din eh um, instead of like venting it out or vent out mo yung galit mo uh, sa sa ibang tao or sa mga may, yung mga may pets kung minsan sinisipa nila ganyan diba it's, it's a negative way of like um, releasing our emotion so um, better yet Um, kung galit ka or you're feeling emotional, you 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 jot it down um, sa any piece of paper probably or sa notebook, ganyan. And then um, later on, pwede mong balikan tapos matatawa ka na lang. Uh, actually, ganito eh. Uh, I experienced this. Like parang sa sobrang galit ko, nagsulat ako. Habang-habang sulat na ganyan. Tapos nung okay-okay na ako, um, a week later, binalikan ko yung journal ko. Tinatawanan ko nila yung sarili ko na sabi ko, ala, oh, grabe, parang ang babaw naman pala nung ikinagalit ko. So alam niyo yun, um, you get to process yung kung ano, mas napoprocess, makikita mo kung... Um, gaano ka impulsive so instead of like um venting that that impulsiveness to other people pwede mo siyang um at least safe ka um sa journal yung journal mo lang yung nakakaalam so um at least hindi mo babasa ng ibang tao no um pag nagvent out ka kasi uh, makikita mo oh shucks parang feeling ko ang ang uh, what do you call this ang immature ko naman dito sa sa part na to di ba alam mo yon so Um, in a way, it will be a learning experience for you. Na um, as you you go through your emotions, eh, ah, okay, um, mako control ko pala yun. Kasi if there is one thing na pwede mo control, yun yung emotions mo. Yan. Next step. Um, ito, nakaka-affect kasi ito sa ating mental health din. And of course, our emotions, lalo na kung negative yung nakikita natin. So, Uh, it's very important din na if you're feeling down, if you're feeling um, not okay talaga, or if you're feeling burnt out or you're stressed, uh, it's actually advised na or recommended that we, we detox from social media. Um, I did that. I, I did this several times and it's very helpful. Alam mo yun, yung um, naiintindihan naman niya ng mga ibang tao eh. Uh, you set boundaries, no? It's not it's not necessarily kasi na pag, for example, may nag-chat sa'yo, eh, kailangan mong replan agad-agad. Alam mo yun, um, you have the right to like uh, post na, okay, uh, for my mental health sake, um, hindi ko muna to uh, re-replyan later na muna. Uh, ganun din sa mga requirements. Uh, I believe um, for DSU, um, they use Google Classroom. So, um, nandun naman lahat yun. So, kung if, you, if you're not feeling, uh, kung hindi mo feel na gawin mo na at this point in time, pwede kang uh, gawin mo muna itong mga tips na ito. No? Um, mag-pause ka muna. It's okay to take a break. Uh, but taking a break doesn't mean you're quitting or you're stopping. No? Uh, may, may difference yun. So, Pausing is yung, alam yun, um, just get a fresh air, yan. take a take a breath of uh, fresh air, and then later on, babalik ka ulit sa kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Kasi lalo na ngayon talaga, ang, ang, 
uh, we are at the point na parang ang daling matrigger ng ating mga emotions na yun. Kasi ito nga, um, nakakulong tayo, wala masyadong interaction uh, with the real world. Kasi nga, um, nakakulong, hindi tayo pwedeng makalabas basta-basta, may mga restrictions sa mga gatherings, ayan. So, understandable naman yan. So, we prioritize as you prioritize you, yourself. Ayan. Ito uh, din, um, helpful to the music therapy. So, we listen to music, especially yung mga makakarelate tayo. Um, probably, uh, Ma'am Karil will be, um, I'll be sharing to Ma'am Karil yung link ng one of my songs. Um, I, posted, I posted it on my uh, personal Facebook account. Anyway, you can view it naman if you want kasi it's um, in public mode. So, uh, maganda yon actually na release din natin ng stress, especially kung um, no words can express kung ano yung nararamdaman natin. Idaan na lang natin sa pakikinig ng music. And because um, personally sa akin, um, ang hirap ko din kasing umiyak. Ayan, um, yun yung weakness ko. No? And actually, uh, tinatawan ng mga lalaki sa mga ganun na oh, pag umiyak ka, um, Uh, bakla ka or you're weak, ganyan. But actually, um, the, walang connection yung pag-iyak sa pagiging lalaki or hindi. Because uh, we men, uh, kaming mga lalaki din, um, we, uh, our emotions are also valid. So, uh, it's okay to cry. Ayan. So, kung ano yung music na kakarelate ka, kung feeling emotional ka, kung kailangan mong i-release yung emotion puso mo or yung sa nararamdaman mo per se, listen to music. Ayan, magandang outlet yan. Next, um, ito, uh, I don't know kung paano to ginagawa ngayon, no? Uh, but as you, uh, as students, very important pa rin na may participation tayo sa mga co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities um, within and uh, within sa school and pwede naman outside our school. So, yung mga nakikita tayo ngayon, um, say, mga online competitions, Um, may mga uh, compositions, um, song compositions, may mga photography, uh, may mga nakikita din akong art competitions like painting. Ayan, so magandang mga, pwedeng magandang release, pag-release din kasi ng mga emotions to, eh, yung mga creative work. So, pinupunta natin doon yung, yung hindi magandang nangyayari, di ba? Like, yun yung magiging release natin sa um, magindang release ng emotions actually, yung mga activities na ito. And then, of course, um, we also have here uh, this tip. Uh, it's very important that we surround ourselves with people na ma- makakabuti sa ating mental health. Ayan. Uh, I think this is self-explanatory. So, uh, This may this may can be your family, your friends, and other loved ones. Ayan. Uh, next, ito, uh, importante ito eh. Uh, sometimes kasi pag emotional tayo, uh, meron yung feeling natin, makatangirap kung patawarin yung sarili ko pag may nagawa ako or pag may nagawa tayo. No? Parang um, laging nating biniblame yung sarili natin. Mm. Tingnan natin na kasi um, this is can actually be a red flag for us no na ala um, bakit ang hirap kong i-forgive yung sarili ko pag yung lalo na pag may nagawa pa yung hindi kanais-nais kumbaga so uh, we need to check on ourselves it's very important na um, sa pag-manage ng emotions natin um, we know how to like forgive ourselves no uh, and then ito um We should also learn how to share our thoughts, our feelings to to someone we can trust. Ang hirap nito, no? Kasi sa panahon ngayon, parang digital lahat. So, pag may, may ginawa ka, parang ang daling i-share nung tao na ito, no? But kung trusted naman siya, it's okay. Uh, you can vent out your your um, emotions, your thoughts to this person. Basta i-ward mo lang yung person na yun. Ala, may I vent out? Kasi I actually do this din sa mga friends ko. Like, um, I need a sponge right now. Um, can, can, can you be an ear for me? Kasi sometimes... Um, yung mga kaibigan or uh, when when I share, 
hindi naman kailangan na mag- may response din yung taong yun kasi the fact na nakinig yung isang tao sa akin is enough already. So, pwede, pwede nyo rin gawin yun. Pero yun nga, um, given din yung situation natin ngayon um, and kung may trust issues tayo, um, the best na we go back to to the journal kasi kakampi natin yun. Eh. Actually, ako ang dami kong ang dami kong um, journal dito. So at least, sabi ko, ah, ito lang yung kakampi ko. Um, at least, tong journal, hindi ka siya magre-reklamo kahit anong isulat mo doon. Um, kahit punit-punitin mo yun. Kahit, um, ano yung tawag nito, um, um, gunting-guntingin mo, hindi siya magre-react. Kaya okay lang yun. So, di ba? Uh, yun. Choose what is best for you. Ayan. And then, ito. Uh, <laughs> I think, um, na mention ko na to kanina so cry uh, the best way talaga kasi na ma-release natin yung emotions natin is to cry eh. there's no other way so yung mga lalaki um, na feeling nila weak sila pag umiyak no um, please uh, please don't think of that way that's a stigma towards men no Um, it doesn't make us weak pag umiiyak tayo. Kaya nga, actually, ako na-appreciate ko talaga yung mga lalaki na um, kayang iiyak. Kasi ako, naingit ako eh. Like, ang hirap kong umiyak talaga. Like, kahit gustong gusto kong umiyak, especially pag um, I'm emotionally down, uh, grabe, uh, I need, ang dami kong stimulus na kailangan or stimuli na kailangan gamitin. Like, Um, I need to listen to music para lang ma-release yung emotions ko kasi kahit na gustong-gusto kong umiyak walang, walang luha na lumalabas so uh, this is an advantage sa mga babae din uh, most often than that um, mas, ma- mas mabilis yung ma-release yung emotions ninyo uh, kasi uh, yun nga, although this is also a um, parang uh, hindi magandang um, parang description sa mga ladies na emotional kasi kayo. Um, actually, very wrong din yun kasi we should not invalidate yung mga feelings ng mga mga tao sa atin. So, this is in general. So, it's okay to cry. Um, for some, actually, magandang coping din sa kanila yung um, pag-pray. Uh, when they're emotional, ganyan. And then, repeat the process if necessary. Yun lang naman yun. So, Uh, I think that's all for the tips. Oh, meron pa. Ito. Um, do what you think is best for you. So, mag-focus ka doon. But hopefully, yung itong best na to is hindi sa negative aspect. Um, more of sana sa yung kung ano yung mas makakatulong sa atin in a very good way. Ayan. So, okay, we're down to the last um, part. Actually, this is the reflections already. Um, please bear with me. I hope you're still with me. Uh, ito, so, ayan. Always remember that the most resilient people are not afraid to ask for help. So, okay lang yan. Um, okay lang yan. Uh, pag-usapan yung emotions na nararamdaman mo at that moment. Kung galit ka, Um, pag-usapan natin yan, bakit ka nagagalit? Kung malungkot ka, pag-usapan natin yan, bakit ka nalulungkot? Ano yung nagpapalungkot sa'yo? Kung masaya ka, ano ba yung nagpasaya sa'yo? Baka pwedeng si crush, ganyan, inspiration. Mm. Uh, pwedeng, ah, mataas yung nakuha mong score sa, sa activity ninyo. Or natapos mo yung mga simpleng bagay. Uh, example, yung mga household chores mo. Actually, maganda yun, ah. na um, uh, reflection kung uh, yung mga maliliit kasi na bagay na akala natin walang silbi. Actually, pag naipon yan, it will pile up. Oh, okay. Uh, it will lead us actually to where we are or where we can be. Ayan. Uh, always remember that you are not your mood swings. Ayan. Uh, This is true to all, no? not only for ladies, kasi ito yung parang stigma din sa kanila or yung parang uh, yung tawag ba dito, yung hindi magandang term na ginagamit for them. Oh, uh, mood swing kagamin, ganyan. Uh, this happens actually um, also for men. So sometimes um, sa pag- bago-bago ang sitwasyon natin, for example, yung ruleta ng, <laughs> ng um, 
GCQ, MACQ, ECQ, um, sometimes uh, nababahador tayo. So sometimes it changes, nag-change talaga, um, tabago-bago yung ating emotions, yung ating mood. So always remember na hindi ikaw yung emotions mo. So yun nga, uh, I'll always go back doon sa you are not your emotions then. Na um, do not decide at the peak of your emotions. Uh, shut up ka na lang. Parang ganun, no? Like, um, parang, you you try to calm yourself. Like, you do breathing exercise, magbilang ka 1 to 1,000 kung kinakailangan. Um, and then, tsaka ka magsalita pag nahimasmasan ka na sa emosyon mo. Ayan. Uh, next, ito. Um, nakaka-affect kasi sa ating emotions yung thoughts natin, no? So, it's very important that to note that uh, your thoughts are just thoughts. So, Do not let your emotions control, or I mean your 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 thoughts control you. Um, same applies to yung sa emotions natin, kasi yung emotions natin mapupunta sa actions natin. So our thoughts, our emotions, um, magboil down siya sa ating um actions. So uh, wag sana nating haya ang um makontrol tayo ng mga emotions natin. Dapat mas mataas pa din yung um. yung control na nandun yung mind na oops magre-remind na mm, uh, I think that this is not right ayan so hinay-hinay muna ayan oops chill ka lang alam yun mga tipong ganyan and then ito um, conquer your giants um, very important yan no? um, ano ba yung mga giants natin pwedeng ito yung mga ating fears uh, anxieties um, yung mga nang didistress sa atin yung mga itong online learning ayan we try to conquer it na in a way na uh, magiging healthy pa din tayo na hindi hindi makakaapekto na alam mo yon uso-uso kasi ngayon yung um, usaping depression anxiety and all um maybe probably this will be for another topic um no but um this is just an uh, kumbaga birds eye view of yung ano ba yung emotions talaga kumbaga so Uh, maybe later on we can talk about that um, deeper and probably um, as you go through then sa, sa subject ninyo, no? So, uh, ito, um, I want to like um, focus on this that no matter what, um, ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo, ano man yung nararamdaman mo, you matter, you matter. and you will always be worth it. So, remember na yung emotions nyo, um, it's okay. It's okay not to be okay. no? Um, I, I think you've heard that several times. Um, yun yung mga tagline na yun. Na very important yun. It's okay not to be okay. And dito ko rin siguro ipapasok yung about sa toxic positivity na uh, it's okay na maramdaman mo yung mga emotions mo hindi hindi pwede eh, hindi uh, hindi naman pwedeng um, okay ka lang palagi no um, it's natural actually sa buhay natin na makaramdam ng mga negative emotions so kung kailangan nating damdamin yun damdamin yun lang and then uh, later on um, pag nadamdam mo na okay okay na ako take a deep breath and then ah okay na ako ayan so uh, i think those are the, the things that I can share for now uh, in terms of um, included na din dyan kasi ang mental health when we speak about mental health and then emotions per se. So um, as what I've said, there's no one size fits all. No, So um, pick uh, what you think is applicable to you and then apply, apply it sa kung ano yung sa tingin mong kung kailan mo ma-apply itong mga bagay na to. So with that, uh, thank you so much for listening. I hope na may nakuha ko yung insights um, from this short sharing of mine. Uh, I'll turn this. Uh, I'll turn back the virtual stage to Mom Karil. Mom Karil. Wow, that was a very great uh, talk, Miss uh, Teacher Kendrick, and we really appreciate how you have shared your uh, yung lessons and insights that you have learned from your life and that uh, as you journeyed along the way with other mental health advocates and those who 
were suffering uh, mental health issues then along the way. So isummarize ko lang yung shinare mo, the seven Cs, yung competence, confidence, connection, character, coping, contribution, control. And don sa competence, I remember that you sh- number one is knowing yourself and making responsible decisions, which is the heart of yung subject namin ngayon na SS21. So thank you very much for that. And one of the quotes na hindi ko makakalimutan don sa talk mo kanina is yung emotions are valid. Sometimes kasi we try to stop di ba yung emotions but yes. na mga, the first step is to acknowledge what you feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, also yung I can relate yung sinasabi mong me time journal pero meron yung mga questions na sinasabi. What if yung journal mo nahanapan or nabasa nung taong uh, galit na galit ka tapos ano, so ano uh-huh. yung tips mo doon Sir Kendrick? Or, ano? Well, problema na niya yun. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, uh, in the first place, kasi that's a private matter, mm-hmm. no? So, bakit niya kasi papakialaman? So, the fact na pinakialaman niya yun, that's his or her fault. Uh, I mean, di ba? Kasi, naturally, bakit mo papakialaman yung alam mong personal sa mga ibang tao? Di ba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Oh, it's a personal matter, but uh, it, yes. it happens nga na minsan halimbawa sa family, sila mm-hmm. nakabasa 'yon. Uh for but, others, ang ginagawa nila is after they have uh, shared yung ano, pino process nila, binabalikan nila yung journal nila, sinusunog nung iba yung kanilang journals, but for others mm-hmm. they want it to as a keepsake na babalikan nila in yes. 10 years from yeah. now. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah, Oo, that... kaya doon din yung sabi ko ma'am na uh, pwedeng on a piece of paper pag galit na galit, at least pagkatapos kasi nun eh, par- pwedeng punit-punitin, pwedeng doon na rin ipunta yung emotions. No, emotions. Na, uh, uh, Oo. Yeah, so tama nga naman. Mm-hmm. It, uh, which reminds me kasi ngayon, di ba maraming namatayan because of the COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Di ba, minsan yung parang pinunta nila sa hospital tapos binalik sa'yo na nakakahon yung body ng loved one mo. That, so that's really emotionally draining. Kaya mm-hmm. yung mga unresolved issues, it helps then yung sinasabi mong a- another kind of journaling is to write a letter to that loved one, right? And then yeah. uh, mm-hmm. uh, put your emotions to that kasi kailangan mo rin i-resolve yung grief yung yes. sa panahon na ngayon. Yeah, so, kailangan i-process talaga ng masyado pag, pag mm-hmm. usapang emotions kasi ang hirap niyan eh. Kasi it will stay within you. Uh-oh. So very important talaga na um, alam mo yun, um, i-acknowledge mo talaga na okay, nararamdaman ko to. Ayan. So, yeah. Oo. Mga namatayan yeah. ngayon. It's very difficult Uh-oh. for them as well. Oo. But thank you for emphasizing that emotions are valid and that both male and females experience it. And it's okay yeah. to cry even for males. Uh, that's a good thing kasi uh, karamihan ng mental health talk na naattendan ko, nakakalimutang sabihin ito. That even mm-hmm. men can cry. Yun. So, thank you for that. Also, yung Presence then yung mga tips na sinabi niya kanina, yung listening to music, good social support, uh, being active in extracurricular uh, activities, forgive yourself. Those are very important tips on how to manage emotion. And we really treasure yung mga tips na binigay niyo sa amin, Sir Kendrick. And that's why bonus sa ating mga nakikinig sa kanyang talk ngayon kasi at the end of this talk, we will attach yung uh, music recording ni Sir Kendrick. So with, um, uh, we wish that you will also um, be our speakers for the next, maybe not in this class again, but for the others. So we really uh, thank you. We appreciate your efforts for sharing your thoughts and your advocacy today. So, uh, would you share any last uh, message for the class? Ayan. So, I hope, guys, na um, sa simple sharing na ito, may natutunan kayo. Um, I'm so glad to, to be with you. Um, I hope that, um, by the way, uh, I would like to extend also my invitation if you're interested to be uh, part of our mental health advocacy program, um, you may join um, our Youth for Mental Health Coalition. Uh, pwede rin sigurong mapin uh, later on yung uh, page ng Youth for Mental Health Coalition. Um, may Facebook page po kami, may Instagram, uh, may Twitter din. Uh, you can follow and like those pages. Um, 
para ma-update din kayo sa kung ano yung mga activities natin for mental health. And also, oh, by the way, um, for those na may kailang, may kailang kausapin, may mga pinagdadaanan at hindi masabi sa ibang tao, ito pala yung na-mention ko kanina, no? I almost forgot. Uh, uh, Ma'am, Ma'am Cardil will also be posting, uh, will be sharing the, the the contact numbers, the hotline numbers na pwede niyong tawagan if you need somebody to talk to. No? Because it's very important na um, ma-process natin kung ano yung nararamdaman natin. Um, aminin man natin o hindi, sometimes hindi natin kayang i-process yun ng tatayo lang or tayong mag-isa. So, uh, anyway, itong mga isi-send naman namin hotline numbers or um, professionals naman yung manan doon. So, yeah, I hope um, this will help you Um, all the best sa semester ninyong ito. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Um, hindi ko man kayo makikita personally, pero yeah. Uh, anyway, hopefully this will help talaga. Um, always remember again that you are valid. Okay? Thank you so much again, Ma'am Ma Karil. Thank you, Teacher Kendrick. And again, you are valid. So... Bang salubay para akong inaanod Nalulunod sa patikos ng mundo Sa kung ano namang ang kaya ko Pigang piga na sa mga problemang di ma-resolusyonan agad Parang wala ng bukas Pwede bang bumiwas Sarili ngunit di nagkakayanin Sa ligaw na dinadaanan ko San na to patungo? San na ko patungo? Dahan-dahan nating simulan Uli ang paghakbang Dahan-dahan tumingin sa salamin Upang makita ang ating kagandahan Dahay na ang iangat ang muka upang masilayan Ang bayapang kalangitan o oh, pagod ka na Pero di ka nag-iisa Kaya't lumaban ka At sabi Thank you, Mr. Kendrick, for sharing that wonderful song. Now, I'm sharing here are the psychosocial telesupport um, free online uh, counseling. So we have national centers from National Center for Mental Health, Philippine Mental Health Association, Ateneo Bulatao Center for Psychological Services, Philippine Psychiatric Association Mind Matters, Psych Consult Inc., Gray Matter Psychological Center, Circle of Hope Community Services, Natasha Goldburn Foundation, In Touch Community Services, and Philippine General Hospital. For Luzon Base, here are the top three psychosocial telesupport group. We have UP Diliman Psychosocial Services, SLU Sunflower Children and Youth Wellness Center, and the De La Salle University. Tasmania Center for Applied Psychology. For Visayas, we have University of San Carlos Mental Health Online Support, Western Visayas Psychosocial Support for COVID-19. And for Mindanao, we have two, the Hofen Clinic and Psych Clinic Psychological Ass Assessment and Intervention Services. We also have... Um, The Youth for Mental Health Coalition Incorporated. You can find them on Facebook. Uh, here is the link about this. Was this will also be sent in our Google Classroom. So again, thank you for listening. And if you have questions, feel free to 
raise your questions in the Facebook group or in our Google Classroom, and we will try to answer your questions. So thank you very much, and God bless.